Hey guys, it's Michelle, and I'm excited to be recording this for you guys um, for a few different reasons. For one, I have just recovered from a massive migraine, and so I feel good just to be able to put my face on and keep showing up because I wasn't sure what today was going to look like. So I'm excited about that. Um, I also think it's kind of fun. It's a fun topic, and I was thinking about it this morning, but also um, I think that it'll make a huge difference if we embrace this together in our own um, in our own businesses so um, I wanted to tell a story about me being required literally to take my bra off in a men's maximum security prison and um, and then I'll, I'll share sort of what that has to do with your success as well as mine so um, I have a family member in prison and he is um, there he was just maliciously accused and um, he's been ordered a new trial two different times, ordered to be let out of prison two different times. He's now being illegally held. It's an ugly situation. Um, and it's been for a long time. And my mom and I go to visit him, and not nearly as often as he would like, and we, uh, we need to get there more. But there's something that they don't tell you about when you're visiting someone in prison, right? And that the majority of America, thankfully, like doesn't ever have to know. But when you go to prison to visit someone, if it's a maximum security, like a real prison, um, the truth is you are in prison while you're visiting there, right? One of the things that I hate about it isn't necessarily the drive there or the heavy conversation while I'm actually um, visiting with my family, but um, it is the being under someone's direct rule while I'm there, right? Like when you go to visit someone in prison, the truth is you are then subject to the prison guards. That's the honest to God truth. So one time my mom and I drive up to um, to visit my, my cousin and it is not, uh, you know, we, we, we know the rules, right? Like we've been there for, this has been a 16 year saga, like we're not new to it. And um, typically when you go, you know, they'll, they'll do the little metal detector. And you know, when they see some metal like right at your bra line, um, they just assume, you know, yeah, your bra's got underwire or whatever. And so anyway, so we go and this is, um, we go in for a visit. It's not our first time for sure. It's not our 10th or even our 15th time for sure. So we go in and we're doing the metal detectors and they are, you know, obviously my mom and I are both at, um, you know, setting the metal detector off right at our bra line so they say yeah it's your bra and we say okay like normal we're thinking they get that it's our bra and they're gonna let us in and they say and um, they won't let us in and I said well what are our options and they said well there's a Walmart like 20 minutes down the road well 20 minutes that way 20 minutes back we would miss the visitation so that wasn't an option and they said well you can go outside and take your bra off and come back and then they said, you know, this is for your safety. I'm like, let me get this straight. You want me to remove my bra to keep me safe whilst visiting a men's male security prison. Now, I'm curious. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, this is just doesn't make common sense. However, they are in control because when you go to visit someone in prison, you are subject to those prison guards. It's something nobody tells you. Anyway, my point in telling you this story, and I, I just will say that I did go out there. I took my bra, <laughs> went back in, right? I was committed to the goal and I laugh about it now, but it was quite infuriating and, um, and I have no idea what was behind it, um, but it was just ridiculous. My point in telling you this and what it has to do with your success is that none of us are in prison. A lot of us don't even know anyone in prison, right? Um, but we start to operate our life and our businesses within prisons of our own making, right? All the time I see bars in people's businesses that are self-erected, right? And they are holding the business owner back in so many ways, but they don't see it because all they see is the bar. And I think that we forget sometimes that we get to choose what we think, right? Every little thing that comes into our pretty little heads isn't worthy of dwelling on. But we put ourselves in this 
in this self-made sort of prison by believing thoughts about what's possible for us, right? We can easily start erecting walls around our business and our potential by starting to um, believe what is and isn't possible for us, not believing in infinite possibility. We start to erect bars and walls around our potential in our business when we have rules and thoughts that we believe about what we must do in business. There are very few must do's in business, right? I don't care about your industry. There are very few must do's in business. You can look around and you can see people in your industry who are breaking all of these rules and succeeding wildly, right? Again, back to my prison story. I hate visiting for a number of reasons, but the number one reason is I'm in prison for those two hours and I'm subject to someone else's rule and I hate that. And so we want to be very cognizant of where we might be um, putting bars around our own self and our own business. So um, believing, you know, what is or isn't possible for you, believing in rules about what you have to do in order to succeed, and then believing the different rules about what you absolutely can never, ever do in business. These are three specific things that come from thoughts that we just believe and we start um, activating into our business that really start holding us back. I do want to close today with two absolute cannots in business, right? And um, I see these as just like some really wise kind of um, bro fence post, I guess, for our business, and things that we want to avoid at all costs, regardless of who we are, what we sell, what industry we're in, or how long we've been doing what we're doing. So the, the first thing you want to avoid in business is being seen as whiny, right? Being seen as whiny. And the second thing you need to avoid in business is being needy right? Needy. And I, if you go to our website, bmichellepippin.com, and you go on in the sidebar, there's this little search tab, and you type in the word needy. I write about it a lot. And that's something you absolutely must, must, must avoid in your business. So I hope this has really helped. I don't want any of us to be in a prison, no matter how big, no matter how beautiful, um, you know, of our own making. We need to really challenge our thoughts, challenge them. Does it serve you? Maybe it served you before. Does it serve you now, right? Are you believing in a bunch of limitations in your business? Do you feel boxed in by things that you feel like you absolutely must do or absolutely can't do, right? It's worth thinking about. I appreciate being able to share this with you guys, and I look very forward to um, more and more interaction in this group. I appreciate all of you guys. If you haven't already um, kind of chimed in on the roll call, make sure that you do that so we know who all is here and we start to see the uh, growing number of Women Who Wow as we hold hands across the nation and um, just grow and grow and grow. Really excited. Talk with you guys soon. Bye.